Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the On Time on Target Play of the Day. Here's the opening bell. All right, we have three charts in front of you on the TD Ameritrade Think Pipes, pla Think Pipes platform, if you will. You got a one minute chart here on the SPY. You can see the s and is up a half a percent and trending higher. So it should be setting up for a good Friday. All uh, right, we have Twitter has fallen from where it was. I kind of like the entry point. So Twitter's our long story. So we're going to take a look at Twitter long and then focus in on DD short. It's already been down here to 8.6. I think people sell out of that. So we're going to hop in, get in on this short. Okay, it's going to be a 10 cent stop on DD short. It's a little bit out of a range. Remember that uh, 8 to 10 or 5 to 10% range. So we're going to just track the high of the day here, 9.03. So our entry point is 8.93. So again, you can watch what I'm doing with the math. Again, if you don't like what you see, then don't take it. But I'm going to use 10 cents off of where I cover, where I'm covering the high, and we're going to go from there. I think when this thing flips to the down, this is all profit taking. So why would it be going up here? Ooh, look at Twitter taking off. Um, why would we going up here? Well, it's just simply uh, profit taking. So 893 is our entry, covering a 903 point and. 903 is still good as far as covering the high of the day. 893, get ready for it on the downside. And again, the reason you don't take it right here is you just don't know if that high of the day is going to hold. So if it keeps powering higher, that's actually a good thing. It makes our numbers better. So 893 is what we're waiting for. It's going to be a 10 cent stop covering at 903 high of the day. We're now about a minute and a half into the trading day. That's an interesting retracement in Twitter. If you took that Twitter along there, you would have been out in a heartbeat. <clears throat> so that's why you want to be patient, patient. So we're waiting for DD to come down to 893. If it doesn't, we won't take it, but I think it's going to hit it right here. I think all of this, a lot of volume though, right now in that 893, or excuse me, at 899 to nine area. So a lot of trades going down. Just going to let that go. <clears throat> okay, off into minute three, make sure 903 is still good. Yep, 903 is covering. 893 is our entry. Yeah, Twitter falling like a rock. Being patient on the trade. I'm going to get rid of Twitter here and keep, in the, keep that 893 in mind there. As soon as I look away, it's going to go. I want to see what Snap is doing. Long. All right, get ready for 893. 893, there it is. There's our entry point in DD short. So again, arrow down here, so you know which way we're taking this. And 903 is the high that or is above the high of the day, so we've got that covered. So the trade we're in assumes that it's not going to ever go back and beat the high of the day that it's already had. We'll talk about our R units here in a second. All right. So 893 is the entry point. So 883 would be your first R. So whatever you risk, you'd double your money if it hits this. And so you'd be, you'd make the amount that you risk. So if you risk 300, you'd make 300 here. And 873 is the next one. Then you'd make another whatever amount you risk there. And then our exit point is this 863. And why I like this exit point is it's already been there once today, right? So it hit it earlier. So really, I think we're going to, this trade's going to hit probably in the next couple of minutes. I think it's just going to strike down. This is what I assess. So anyhow, we're in the trade at 893. We're covered at 903. There's 123R leaving at 863. All right, let's look at what's going on in Snap while we let our trade just cook over there. 22%. Okay, I can't really take it there. So let's look at some other names. Let's look at that Boston Beer South. Oh my God, or uh, short, excuse me, Sam. I held the stock uh, probably over a decade ago. So they missed earnings like bad. So I think they're projected to make like $6 a share and it was like $4 a share. So, oh, there it is, $4 a share. So yeah, conference call didn't help things. It's like, yep, we suck. So they're costing their shareholders a lot of money this morning. All right, what else do we take a look at? Sam, D, let's take, let's walk, look at the DD story. Or no, excuse me, the Luckin story. We're in DD. Not as bad as I thought. Um, and I, I think this is probably going to get worse uh, is my take on it. Um, I think Luckin could easily, easily end up uh, back in below $10 based off of the Chinese news. All right, so we're at the two R point on our trade off in the right, so just keep an eye on there. Have your exit in for the 863 point. All right, let's look at Skechers was another name. They crushed earnings, so I'm not really into shoe company. Um, which is why I wouldn't really recommend this as a trade because after all it is shoes. 
Um, and it's not Nike, right? Same with Foot Locker, you know, it's like, well, it's interesting and we're selling stuff, but it's still like not all that compelling. All right, so can't really get into Skechers there. Let's check American Express. They beat earnings as well. I could get behind American Express as more of a long-term investment. Again, I don't really don't like the trade part, but if it's a financial, I think, uh, you, you know, it's not a bad place to have money. You know, I prefer JP Morgan, uh, nice juicy dividend. So, you know, all right. Uh, let's see, get ready to exit your trade. We're waiting for 863 and we're out. Uh, we wanted to look, did we look at Snap? Yep, Snap's at 22, Twitter. See what Twitter was kind of all over the map there at the open. Remember it went higher and then lower. See what we got here with Twitter. Touch 73, it went all the way down, hit 70. Barely in the green anymore. So, all right, well, the market's not buying all the pre-market hype there in, a, in Twitter. So we'll see. All right, getting close to exiting our trade. I was hoping it would hit while I'm on the same screen so I don't have to come back to it, but it looks like I might have to come back to it. I did want to check GM stock. Uh, see if it's hit at all by the uh, recall this morning news. Uh, if you trade headlines, again, just because you saw the headline doesn't mean everybody else did, right? <laughs> so uh, even if it splashes across CNBC, um, GM's kind of about what I would say one of those retirement stocks. So people that are in it probably aren't going to get moved out of it on a headline. Um, but, you know, so, all right, looks like the trade is sitting here at the two plus R point. So I'm going to leave that. If you're in the trade, pull it up on another screen. Uh, cause I need to leave here and move on with the uh, long-term investing portion of the show. So we'll come back to the trade here in a second. All right. All right. So I got on there. Let's check on our trade. See if it's hit it yet. Nope. Not yet. All right. Let's talk about the delisting process and then we'll come back. Just going to wait for it to hit it while I'm talking about it. Come on up oh, there. It hit it. 863. So boom, we're out of the trade. So let's recap the trade and we'll close out of that. All right, so we watched it at the market open. We know that the uh, big selling to the downside uh, news story there about potentially getting delisted, largest fine. We watched it open. It kind of bopped around here. We put an, one penny above the high of the day, kind of marked that. And basically, once it started down, you don't take it in here because it's too soon and too risky. But once it retraces all the way back down to about 1%, which is what I'm using here is this 10 cents is 1%. That's your entry point to the downside. From there, it's striped down 1-2 uh, pretty quick congestion here between two and three R and now down at the, uh, down at the three R point. I wouldn't hold much of this. I would just, I would be happy. I mean, look at the move it's made on the day, 16%. I mean, it could go down 20%, maybe 25, but I would be out of the trade here. So overall, nice trade.